Hello everyone and welcome to my very first studio vlog and for this vlog I thought I would make it a very nice and special vlog because in this parcel is something very very special and I've been so excited to open it and I've decided to open it with you guys. So I'm just unopening this magical box now. It is a very very magical and very very special little pixie from one of my favourite all time inspiring artists, no other Wendy Froud. And she sent me a lovely little pixie because we have been working and collaborating together where I've been making and sending her wings and she uses the wings in her amazing fantastic fairies and pixies and other little creations that she makes. So here she is. So this is the parcel I received back in, I think it was 2015 and this was the, the fairy that Wendy sent me, as you can see she's used my wings. It was such an amazing experience to um, have my wings with her work and I am truly honoured to still be sending and working with Wendy. And there was also a really lovely feature featuring my wings and Wendy's fairies in the magazine called Fairy Magazine which is now Enchanted Magazine and that was a lovely write up there with the details of how me and Wendy came together to do our collaboration but here she is the little pixie again and as you can see there's um, some little variations down that I've put in here for you guys to see that you can also if you wanted to make your own creations or jewellery or anything else you can purchase my wings and this is just some of the ways that you can use them. These little wings are quite cute to use, they're nice and sparkly, they're not too colourful, they're not too bright. I like my colours a little bit more muted and a bit more natural which is I think why I love these ones so much. So as you can see you can put them together, you can separate them, you can cut them off and you can pretty much do quite a lot of things. I also thought I would show you me using the wings on my own little sculpture which is this fairy snail wand. You can, you can see using the little green wings and she has a little opal headpiece, crisp quartz crystals, um, fresh water pearls all put on together as a little wand which was actually my daughter's idea where she said that I should make a little fairy wand, fairy snail wand sorry so yeah that's where this one come about and she is actually for sale if you would like to purchase her you can either contact me or go directly to my under the ivy shop which I will leave a link in the description below but yeah you can see there's like a little snail trail shiny bit going down to the crystals as if it is an actual snail and I just I really love the way this one turned out it was it was really fun to make and then just finish with bits of moss just to keep it all nice and natural and she's snug and sleeping so a sleeping fairy snail one this one is
So I'll carry on on with the um, studio vlog after our unboxing and showing you a few of my little creations and sharing a little bit of information. I wanted to give this little fairy house a little finish over because it just needed a little something extra and <laughs> I did a massive error and I actually forgot to record or I thought I'd press record and it wasn't recording so it skipped a little bit but I think you can get the gist of it that I've just put a little bit more moss on the top and fixed things together a little bit more so <laughs> note to self remember to press the record button so yep I've added some fairy wings just to make it a little bit more magical I've added more moss, I you can see a little trinket there. I think even though I've took some pictures, I think it's really, really hard to actually show all the details. As you can see, there's like bits of slate, pretty shells, quartz crystals, trinkets, there's all sorts, you know, it's a, quite a lot of work's gone into it. There's a little teacup there inside with shells as well. So I'm just going to paint the inside to get rid of the newness and I'm just going to use my watercolours in different color, different greens, browns, burnt umber, black and just mix it with water and just stick it on really. <laughs> Just rubbing that paint in there to try and get it all coated and filling in a little bit on the moss so it all blends in nicely together. I've speeded the video up for you guys so you can obviously so it doesn't take forever so you don't get too bored. But you can see what I'm doing here, just um, aging it and just stressing it as, as best I can. I like to add a little um, sprinkle of glitter. Again, it's the same glitter I use with most of my wings and it's this really nice green sort of colour which I think it's not too in your face so it doesn't seem natural and it just sort of blends in with all the greens. And this moss here that I'm cutting out is going to go on the inside just to keep it all in together once I get it sized right and it all fits. I glued the moss in place using the glue gun and managed to not burn myself so please do be careful if you are using a glue gun at home. I'm going to put some more paint on just to match it all up together and so it's not breaking in the colour and then I'm also again going to add a little bit more moss and a little bit more of the green glitter just to give a little hint of sparkle. So yeah I think that looks quite good. Um, lots of other jobs on the list to do today but uh, I think it's nice to finally get this one finished. Cut myself off there. <laughs> it was meant to say finished. <laughs>
So I also made to go with this little fairy house a little sink which you can see the little tap with the water in and little bubbles and a little shell and also this chair which I'm going to finish along with you today. I'm just going to add a little bit more moss to make it like a, a little cushion on the chair and also on the top of the chair just to make it a little bit more of a decorational focal point which I think will look nice when it's finished. So now the moss is on the chair, I'm just going to have a little look through my trinket box. I have a fair few of these and I have vintage trinkets, new trinkets and all sorts of things that I've collected over the years just to finish off little fairy chairs like this and I do find that they do come in handy. And are you a hoarder like I am? Because I have so much craft things and I just can't bear to let any of it go. So here is a little peek at the final result and I'm quite pleased with it, I think it looks really nice, quite natural but yet still enchanting, I can imagine it in a little girl's bedroom you could put a little um, tea light, just one of the electrical ones or you could wrap some ivy around it, you know I think it would look really special and here's a little close up of the chair just so you can see all the details. And I like how the little sink turned out with the little wooden tap and then the resin in the bottom there and a few little bubbles just to make it look like the fairies actually ran the sink. And also this is another little creation that I've finished recently which is my little spring butterfly fairy who's quietly sleeping and awaiting for spring. I really wanted to make a fairy to use the new butterfly wings that I've made. She's got a little petal skirt out of rose petals which I've made from fabric and I think she fits in the little house quite nicely. Maybe I should sell them together or keep them separate, I'm not sure what you think. But yeah, she looks really really happy there sleeping on her little mossy bed.
And another thing that I've been making, I've been experimenting with some new wings, as you've seen on the little fairy, is these butterfly wings, and I made this piece. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with it yet, whether to make it into a headpiece, keep it as a necklace, or just keep it decorative. And this is some other wings that I've made that I've actually struggled with, actually, to try and keep the doing the holographic and the foiling, and to make sure that it's double-sided so you can't see any any of the black on any of the um, wings and trying to keep it nice and neat it's a lot harder than my other wings because there's a lot more processes and also wanted to show you this dusky pink chalk pink wing keeper thought it might be nice to change the colour of the metal so I sprayed the metal and used my um, pink wings in there and put a vintage trinket on the end instead of the Swarovski and this is the original wing keeper which has got the wings inside with the moss and that's one of my original necklaces and that's using the green forest wings in the natural design. So I hope you've enjoyed coming along with me on a studio vlog. This is a typical day here at Under the Ivy. It's always a busy one and now tonight I've got lots of orders and lots of earrings to make so I'm going to make a nice cup of tea and sit down and get going with some of them orders so thank you so much once again and if you enjoyed this channel on this vlog please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe and comments i really do enjoy reading anything that anyone writes and i will get back to you and once again thank you so much for popping by